Hello everyone, Will again here from Cowley Hill Farm in Staffordshire and today what we're going to be doing is talking about fly strike sheep. But before we get into that I'd just like to say a massive thank you to Roxanne Tags for helping us out today so they've supplied us with a pour on gun and yeah we're going to crack on with the video guys and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Right guys, so the first thing that we're going to be doing today is explaining what fly strike is and how it is caused in sheep. So what fly strike is, is basically when a fly lays eggs in the sheep's fleece, they hatch out as maggots and they um, eat the flesh of the sheep. And this is something that's really painful and can be fatal to sheep. So now that you know exactly what fly strike is, now I'm going to talk a bit about the conditions where fly strike can occur in a flock of sheep. So with sheep in the UK, fly strike can usually occur between April and October and between 15 and 38 degrees. And these are the most favorable conditions where fly strike can occur in a ewe. So as we all know, the weather in the UK isn't the best and especially in the summer, we still get rain while it's warm. And this is why fly strike can be really bad in the UK summers, especially June and July, which are the highest risk time for fly strike in the UK. This is basically because flies like laying eggs in warm and wet conditions. So guys, now I'm gonna pop some examples of the effects of fly strike on the screen now so you can see exactly what it can do to a sheep. So guys, just quickly pop some photos on screen now of some examples of fly strikes. There's three photos on there working left to right. And the one on the left is basically some flies that have laid some eggs into the sheep's fleece. The middle one is a couple of maggots just hatching out after a day or two. And the third one is a complete infestation in the sheep's fleece. So this can literally happen within three days. So if there is a sheep in your flock with fly strike, you have to act really fast. And the key thing to look out for with fly strike is a damp, dark patch in the fleece. And this will basically give you an idea if a ewe has fly strike. So that was some examples of fly strike and the effects it can have on sheep. But what we're going to do next is look at how we can prevent fly strike in the sheep. And this is where it's going to be really cool because this is how Roxon helped me out and they've lent me a drench gun just to show you how I prevent it in the sheep at home. So what we're going to do now guys is talk about how we can actually prevent fly strike from happening in the flock. And there are three options for this and then two of those are basically using spot on treatments and the third one is dipping the sheep. Right guys, so now I've grabbed the Crovec and this is the first way that we prevent fly strike in the flock. So what Crovec is, is basically a chemical that will kill anything on the sheep. So it kills lice, it kills maggots and it kills head fly. So basically all we're using today is the Simcro um, gun that I've been kindly gifted by Roxanne. So this is the new gun that's just come out and this goes up to a 30 mil dose but I put on 14 today because basically what I do, as I'm going to show you now, we just apply it to the back of the ewe's fleece. So basically go like this, like that, and I'll put one across the back, and that's a dose. So basically put on 14 because three squirts is a dose. And then we just carry on doing it. So the same for this one. Whoa, this is good. So basically it's a fan nozzle, so it covers the whole of the back. And this means that they get the biggest coverage possible so that they can't get struck. So like I said before, this is basically like a poison and it'll kill anything that lands on the fleece. And this works for six to eight weeks and prevents fly strike from happening really easily and it can also be used if something gets struck so if there is a sheep that does get fly strike it'll kill the maggots right so now i'm just going to quickly do them all so this shouldn't take too long there's only a dozen in here so just to see what the gun's like so i'm really impressed with this already this is a new gun that i've only got today so i haven't used it before and honestly this is better than the actual crovet guns won't you agree ellie behind the camera definitely so yeah We're not doing the lambs in here because they're quite young. These basically some of the later born lambs, so they're just in here because the rest have already been done. But it was ideal for the video, so go on, girls. Right. <laughs> You're losing some more already. Right, so that's all the sheep done, and it's done a really good job. Really happy with that. We're just going to let them out now because I don't want to keep them in for the rest of the video if they don't need to be kept in. So. Just going to undo one of these pins, and you go for going out to the ground. Go on, go. Go on, girl. Go on. Come 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 on
on girls, go on lammies. <laughs> go on that one. Come on. <laughs> you won't carry him. <laughs> Mummy's gonna be looking for you. <laughs>